just gives 100% into everything that she does and was just really determined, determined to do well and to improve all the time. I'm proud as a parent, but more so in admiration of how much she's done and achieved. I wasn't taught that there is the word can't in the vocabulary. I'm on a fabulous journey and I'm not ready to get off. When I was a kid, I always wanted to represent my country and I was um, passionate about horses, so I always wanted to ride for Australia. I saw the Sydney 2000 Paralympics, so I was there with my mum. I was just so inspired just by all the riders out there representing their country. Kate and Vicky were very close. They went overseas together, they went round the corner together, all in this pursuit of uh, Kate's progress. Kate's relationship with her mum was one in a million. The first thing I noticed with Kate is that she could really ride. She was a very talented equestrian athlete and just happened to have a disability. The day she was born, I'll never forget it, the doctor said to me, we've got a problem with Kate's hand. We soon realised that we had the problem, Kate didn't. We decided that once we got over our initial grief, that Kate had never had a hand to lose. I made the team for the World Equestrian Games. It was amazing to go. It was really unfortunate that uh, my horse uh, didn't travel very well and he had 50% chance of surviving. At the time, I had been a full-time carer for my mum with breast cancer. I then lost mum three months after that. Grief is a horrible thing and not really having my best friend around. To be honest, I sort of went off the rails a bit. I then struggled to even go outside sometimes and I had agitated depression and also anxiety. My passion for paraequestrian was starting to fade a bit. If you don't love something, do you have to do it? I think it got to a point where I just really didn't like who I was, but I really wanted to get fit again and I had unfinished business, to be honest. I can remember she came up here one day to see me. She said, I'm going to start triathlon. And I said, what? I never would have picked it until she sort of asked me one day, what do you think? At the time, I thought, yeah, go for it. That's um, you know, a good chance to try something else. It's been a good journey as to follow and watch. She's obviously spent a lot of time sitting on top of a horse, so actually trying to teach her how to be more efficient when she was running was our first goal. I remember being so unfit and I think, oh, this hurts, but nothing really, to be honest, hurts as much as the grief I had experienced and I knew that would get me through the training and the sessions. God, I was so proud of Kate when she made Rio. She rang me and told me and I had tears in my eyes. I'd missed out on two Paralympic Games before I made the team for Rio, and they were both in equestrian, so it was pretty tough going for me. But I was ready to, to keep going. I'm emotional, but I'm so happy, so they're good. It's good emotion. I just know my mum would have been with me out there racing, so. Going for my second Games with Tokyo, and it's pretty exciting, because I have a beautiful husband and a lovely little son. Definitely no easy feat sometimes, trying to juggle everything, but I've grown. Our son Henrik has taught me a lot. My husband is so patient. It's all about August 2020 and making sure that we're firing come that start line in Tokyo. I, I'm not gonna lie, like I really want to get onto that podium and I don't mind what colour. Even if I come close, it's gonna be a win for me. Vicky will be smiling down on Kate in the games in Tokyo and I know Kate will just feel the love from Vicky. Her mum would just be very proud. <laughs>